Hey, morning. Um, bot's starting back up. I had rebuilt stuff from last night. Um, so I decided that uh, I went through a bunch of the stuff in the uh, the issue tracker uh, last night, and uh, I'm gonna do um, see if I can clear out a few things from there and add it into this release. So we're gonna go through together, look at stuff. I'll be here for a little bit. Um, I just started up the timer, or I just started up the bot with the new timer manager. So we'll see how this goes, and we'll give it a few minutes and see what happens. But hello, Dennis and Tom and Wisty, thank you for the lurk alert. And I see Bobo over there on Live Space. Hi, Bobo. Um, so, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna work on Firebot stuff today, um, and just kind of have a nice little chill day while we work on stuff. It should be a good time. Uh, I've been really enjoying working on Firebot stuff the last couple weeks. Um, <laughs> Peekaboo biatch. Um, so uh, it's made me feel really productive and like I'm accomplishing stuff. So we're just going to keep doing that uh, for a little while. So um, yeah, let's just let's just go into it. Hello. Hi, Liz. Um, all right. So this all is doing its thing. Um, the thing that I want to test now is I want to create a timer and then I want to do a log message. Okay. I'm going to store it in a few minutes to get gingerbread stuff. Oh, Bobo, yes! So excited. Just in a prod environment, so perfect time and see how broke it is. Nice, Dennis, nice. Also, I don't know if I said it out loud, but hi, Liz, if I didn't. All right. Uh, this will run every five seconds. Okay, so now we wait here, and there's our test timer. Okay. So we'll wait again. There's our test timer. Now, if I delete this active test timer, we wait. Deleted timer. And, 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 oh. Mwah. Well, that's, that's fixed. Is there a thing for this? There is. Uh... Nope. Hi, it's me, Stan. Beautiful. Outstanding. Ooh, Bobo, you should. Bobo, you should do both. You should you should absolutely do the live space and the Twitch thing if you want to. Yeah, I'm there's a lot of stuff that I'm missing. Um Uh but I'm I'm getting there. Okay, there we go. Uh, the well, thanks, Bobo. Uh, I just was talking in the uh, the mod slash expert chat over in the Firebot Discord, keeping track of uh, issues with the uh, current nightly builds. Okay. Um, all right. In this case, uh, I'm happy with this. Let's see. Uh, connection manager. All right, and 
that's good. I don't really care about that one thing. That's that's a later, that's future me's problem. Timer manager, new timer manager, the timer types. Um, I guess I could do this. Stop. I think yeah, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna actually do that. So double it, give it to next. Uh, I'm gonna get shoes on and get kidnap the frog for just okay, Bobo, have fun. Um, all right, that's the happen. Mm. That's fine. Oh. Hi, Gadget. Thanks for the lurk, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna go and turn on some some tunage. I think that works. Eight bit Christmas God, no. I don't I don't I don't do Christmas music. I don't do Christmas music if I can help it. I'm not I'm not a Christmas person. Bean very much is, I'm very much am not. Uh okay. Let's see. Okay. All right, I think I'm um, I'm good with this chore. Okay, so that's fixed. I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah, Tom, that's... Yeah. Um, alright. What, what did we change here? Oh, this is where we changed that return type. Yep, 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 yep. Return's a Boolean now. Um, okay. I'm happy with this. And I'm gonna go ahead and... Do we have anything? No, we're up to date. All right, I'll just go ahead and push. All right, that's good. 80stees.com. Oh. oh, God, no, Tom, no. Son of a bitch. I open it up, and then, like, obviously it's Christmas time, so they have a bunch of Christmas stuff over, uh, like, up there, and they have a pair of shirts that is from Christmas Vacation, they have a pair of matching, why is the carpet all wet, Todd? I don't know, Margot. 
Oh my god, they have the Griswold jersey. Cousin Eddie's RV maintenance. Bend over and I'll show you. God, I can't show I can't show this. I can't show this to Bean. I got you, babe. Oh god damn it. Why is it that you show up immediately as soon as I open this? Babe. No, I am not getting us I've been summoned. Jesus Christ. I am not getting us Todd and Margot shirts. You already your your Christmas present's already here. Uh, besides, we have we already have we already have shirts bean. We have our jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nut house shirts. So we have those. We don't need Todd Mar I don't want to be I don't want us to be like Todd and Margot. They're actually the worst. All right, let's go. Let's grab stuff assigned to me. All right, let's see. All right, CKY wants the eight user agent uh, added to read API variable. All right. Oh God, is it the? Oh God, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. Son of a bitch. I just smoked a whole bunch of crack. It's great. We are not them, Bean. We are much better than them. All right. All right, let's see what we got. And the second to none. Oh, well, I mean, it's 80s tees. If anybody should have a good quality selection of Skeletor shirts, it should be 80s tees, right? And a childless couple with no Christmas cheer on their home. Wow. You have a beautiful tree that our daughter lays under constantly because she is the greatest gift that we have ever received. All right. All right, let's do let's do this first. So read API and raw read API. All right, let's close this stuff. All right. How old is this? This is... Alright. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know she does, Liz. I'm aware. It just has the Blockbuster logo. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch, kibibbles. All right. Well, mm. what about Hollywood video? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I had one of those too. 
Okay. I'm going to change these to imports. Uh, those are TS. I'm going to just, yeah, we're going to do that. Yep, perfect, perfect, love that. I'm gonna do a Petco, the block was turned into an O'Reilly Auto Parts. Ow! The instructions for transforming the sound wave. Oh no, Tom, buddy, that's, that's your, oh, buddy, though, that's, oh. Mm. Yikes. Yep, you did, you did. It's true. Okay, this is raw. Uh, no, this is the girl from Ipanema, which is kind of hilarious to me. I have no idea what your wife got you for Christmas, so you're using that to resist. Good call, good call. <sighs> hmm. Why is... What the hell's the difference? All right, we're gonna win merge this because I like looking off. I can't see the difference between. All right, let's get the regular read API. Let's get the raw version. Oh, I see. So here we we do it just. Oh. So raw returns the actual object and that returns regular returns the string and raw returns the object. If do thing, then don't else snack. Yes. All right. So. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I don't... Oh, code duplication nightmares? Well, this certainly is. I mean, this, like, I'm looking here. God, is there a dark mode for this? Color schemes. Solarized dark. Now that's not, not great contrast. I got, what's this modern? Nope, I don't like that either. Fine. Uh, I don't want line wrapping, so where's there it is.
me try something. Um, what do we have a simple API for, but that returns an object? Where's the Pokemon API? The Pokey API. There we go. All right. Uh, let's go. No, I want Pikachu. Fuck off. Yeah, I want that. Okay, so that returns me an object. All right. Good lord, that's too many things. Um, let's go. God, is there anything? It's this API is too good. All right, let's see what maybe the language is a perfect. That's a small object. I can deal with that. Uh, it's fine, Dennis. It's not a big deal. I usually just because it's on stream. I like having it on stream like this. Usually I just use wind merge in light mode. It's one of the few things that I use in light mode for whatever reason. Um, but thank you. All right, let's, we're going to do something. I want to, let's go to my test command and eh, we can go to this one. Okay, I want API. And then I want to duplicate this, and then I want raw read API. All right, let's. It both, like it. They both return the object. Raw read API. And there's got it has options for both the URL and the object path. The URL and the object path. I'm not, I, like read API, like the, the raw read API just seems like, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Stringify. You mean here, Dennis, where we take content and do two string? And current object in two string. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to ask in the expert chat and see. Dennis, did you put in a feature request for an effect to control scheduled effect lists? Yes. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. I don't know if that'll be a today thing, but it's okay. Um, all right. No, 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 that's 
I love it. And Prediction winning outcome name. Okay, that's... Need to double check for typos, put one in the thread. Uh, as far as I know, that's the only poll winning choice votes, poll winning choice name, which I'm gonna have to figure that one out too. And I need to move that. Yeah, hype train level, hype train percent. Most of these I've been using already, like a bunch, like all the charity stuff. The charity stuff I have been using. So I think the that's the only one, Dennis. No, that's the only one. Mm, commit and push. Uh, I'm going to... Okay, that's fixed. Nerds gummy clusters and very berry. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Okay, read should return the JSONified string. Raw should return the object. Okay, so that's one that's broken right now. Okay. Raw should return the object, re should return the string. Let's just uh, adhere to a piece of gummy in little bites, and they're both... Cr oh, yeah, I've had those, Liz. Those are really good. Uh, effect type. The URL is a string. Um... Did I? I didn't turn that down, did I? Okay. It's fine. Um... So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh... Raw returns the object. API returns the string. I'm gonna have API use the evaluator for raw 
and then just stringify it. That's what I'm going to do. Because what the hell, why not? I mean, I can't think of a reason not to. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. doesn't try to stringify error strings that's the that's the thing i'm trying to figure out now yeah that's the thing i'm trying to figure out now ah oh, that needs to Let's go and grab, I need those, I need that there. Oh, the, I damn it. No. Oops. I was I've been in effect land for so long. Sure, what else? Please don't take off my mask revealing. Oh, oh, nice. Also, hi, Dan. Uh, I haven't played it, um, but Lolly played. Lolly, didn't you play a shit ton of Persona 5? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, my my brain has been working on effects for so long the last few weeks. Okay. Well, first we fix this. Perfect. All right, that's good. That's good. Um. Trigger and then args is any, which is fine. Okay. Are you going to yell about that? No, you're not. People obviously have not been using this with JSONified strings, with JSON responses, because it just returns like object, object. Hmm. 
response JSON path. Hmm. Yeah, that's all I can think. Pull and prediction supply their titles via variable. Oh, I don't know CKY. Um, we'll we'll deal with that when I get there. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to do Okay, uh, I don't need the Axios thing. I mean, this theoretically, this should work. Mm -hmm. Document. No. I'm getting there. I guess I don't need that on two lines. Uh... I like that. Any of how it works with non JSON returns? Well, it's going to be, it's. I don't know if I want to. Eh. Yeah, all right. I guess I'll do that. I guess I'll do that. That's... F yeah. Uh.
Not, not that and that. Yeah, I guess that's a good point in case it responds if it's not a JSON object. I mean, it, that should that would be just like a string. No, I'm going to do one even better. If it's not an object, we return back the raw response. I might even dot to string this. Because then if it's like a... Well, no, I think we two string it anyway. I'm almost entirely certain we two string it. And... I don't know. Maybe. All right now, though. There. How's that, Dennis? So if it's not an object and it's not an array. Okay. Now we don't need the logger because the loggers happen in the, in the raw API one. No, 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 this is, this is good. This is like, we're pair programming, buddy. This is exactly what we need to kind of keep this stuff, you know, actually, uh, keep us honest. Listen, if we don't do this now, then we're going to have to wait for it to come in as a bug and do it later. So, um, now for the big the thing that we wanted the the whole time the user agent um oh man boy we are using all kinds of fucking user agents all over the place Oh my god. We're going to use... Oh, I like... I like this. Yeah, we're going to do this. I don't want to keep all of this in here, but I will do this. Um, and I want the app version. Uh, and then where's app? Import app from Electron. Gonna import app from Electron. Perfect. Let me go see. Nope, I want that.
Axios. Oh, it'd have to be a header. Okay, that makes you that makes way more sense. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah. Okay, this is the one we're going to use. Okay, so we have, we do our app version, which is absolutely what we want. So Firebot and whatever. That's what a fucking user agent should look like, honestly. We have a lot of stuff and I just, yeah. Okay, so that's the raw. That returns back either the object or the string, the object slash array slash string. If it's not an object, and it's not a... Yeah, okay, that's good. We're good here. That. Then we can come down here and if there is a raw response, All right, I like that. Now here's the thing that I wanna know is how are we going to validate this? Cause I don't know that there's a way for me to validate this. I'm just I'm just trying to think how I can validate the user agent and Is there... Oh, is that a... Oh, perfect. Thank you, Dennis. Okay. Reverse! Reverse! Is that an array? I guess it is. Okay, so then what I will do is... I want zero dot... Where is it? Zero dot UA dot raw UA. Yep, okay. No, I want zero dot UA because I want to get both an object and a string and see what happens. Yeah, I like this. I like where we're going with this. Okay. Um, now what I need to do is, let's go and delete these two. Um, so that when we load these in, we load in the new ones. Yep, okay, so that should be fine, because those haven't moved. Oh.
All right, let's stop it and restart it and see what happens. Good lord. Sorry, I'm just trying to finish something else up. There we go. Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go to my test. We're on test, no, I'm on test one. Okay, I have that, I have that. If I run that, then let's go here. Debug console. There's my string. There's my object. Let's do now. I want to do this, and I also want to do wait. No, I want to do this. And I want to do this and see what happens. All right, that's the string. That's the. I'm. I'm really happy with this. Uh. Now let's do it the other way around. Where I return. I get the raw array back. So that's an array. I I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I like this. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go. Okay, sure, refactor, read API, raw read API. And then add user agent string. Um, I think the only other thing that I wanna do here is 
I want to check something real quick. That's the raw I want to do. Dot UA dot raw UA and just see what it does. Oh, that's no, I want that on regular. I want to test this on right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means it returns that. Okay, perfect. Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> Preston, what's up, buddy? How you doing, pal? Good to see you. I miss you. I hope you're doing all right. All right, so those are good. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I need to... Uh, this is this one. It's all good here. Time time off and maybe finally do some hacking Divinely stuff. Nice, buddy. Good. Good, good, good. Ping me if uh if there's anything that I can help out with. I mean, you know Q will. I gotta I gotta get with her. I haven't talked to her in a couple weeks. Uh let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Uh. Ooh, okay, Dennis. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, and mark this as release pending. Does the bot still go through? Thank you. Uh, let me, let's do something real quick. Cause I have label release pending, uh, label I'm going to mark all those as dev complete as well. Give that a minute to do its thing. Okay, those are all marked dev complete. All right, uh, that's done. Um, oh yeah, I can take myself off of this. Clear. Done. Um, fully qualified YouTube videos fail to play when manipulating the overall URL. Okay. And a list of random effects that play videos. If you fully qualify the YouTube URL instead of providing an ID, the system passes the wrong value to the YouTube embed framework. Okay, so we just want like a regular ass YouTube video. What the hell just happened? Weird. 
All right, let's uh, let's open a YouTube. Um, and see what happens. What can I grab? Let's go. Let's see, let's let's grab this. Um, okay. All right, now let's do a video effect. Play video. We're going to play this on the play YouTube video. Uh, start time location, zero duration, five seconds. I'm going to set the volume to zero because I don't want the, I don't need the audio. Okay, that's, that worked. Um... And the rest of random effects. All right, let's grab this and see what's up. All right, we have a Firebot set up in here. Uh, I'm going to go dump the setup into here. Can I, can I just not? No? Okay. Well, then we're gonna... Let's extract. I don't, I don't need that. Oh, for God's sake. Name, test. All right, what do we have here? Command. Uh, trigger knob, okay. Oh. All right, so we're going to do this. That's fine. Um, let's go import the setup. Settings, uh, setups, import. Everyone, please control yourselves. This is a mature party. Holy mackerel. No! Tug, how absolutely dare you? How dare you? Uh, welcome in everyone from the tugboat raid. <clears throat> Tug, I'm sure you did a lot more fishing and oceaning and whatnots. Um, look, hey, look, I'm even, uh, I'm wearing my wife boat shirt today. How about that? And that's something. Uh, welcome in from the Tugboat Raid, everyone. I'm Zunderscore. If you've been around Tug's community for any length of time, you know me. Um, I'm a variety streamer, and today I'm working on some Firebot stuff. Um, I'm going through some of the issues in the Firebot backlog. I found a bunch last night that I wanted to take a look at and see if there was something that I could do 
uh, to fix some of this stuff. And I am, in fact, Andalite. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Um, so, yeah. Um, going through, cleaning up some stuff, seeing what I can do to get some of these issues off the backlog. We have a very big Firebot release coming up um, imminently. Um, it's going to have a whole bunch of new um, effects and events and variables and stuff that you can hustling. consume. Um, Perny, how fucking dare you? Thank you for gifting a sub to Tug. Pernt, would you like to do the thing? Do the thing, Pernt. Do the thing, Pernt. I will mute the... Yes, do the thing. Please. You barely exceeded expectations. I've got a watch. What does the watch what does the watch do? What does the watch do? What does the watch do? What does the, what watch, does the watch do? do? What does the watch do? So you may remember that from when Tug was playing Bear and Breakfast. Fun fact, Tug finally did learn what the watch does. Here, playing Fortnite with us one night. So as it turns out, the watch tells time. Amazing. <laughs> Love you, buddy. <laughs> imagine, imagine the watch telling time. What, what a concept. What a concept. Um, welcome in again, everyone. Tug, thank you again for the raid, pal. I really appreciate it. Um, hope you enjoyed the rest of your Coral Island stream today. Um, all right, let's get back into this. So... What I'm working on right now is uh, someone is saying that they have an issue playing uh, playing YouTube videos, and they have a sample set up in Firebot that they have to test this. So I'm I'm gonna try and see what I can do to make this trigger. Let's see. Restrictions. Okay, so I'm only going to make that where the streamer can do it. What a 90s curse, right? A video game mechanic tied to it? And yes, there was a video game mechanic tied to it. If you look on your mini-map... There's a clock that appears when you get the watch. That's a mechanic in the video game where it tracks the time of day for you to do things in the video game. Hope this helps. It was telling time you muppet. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome, welcome to the non-family friendly version of Tug. Uh, all right, so let's see what this thing does. Run random effect. Okay, so there's two videos. Let me go grab another Game Chops video to do to do this with. Um, okay, that's the one I the, the first one I did. Okay, let's do this with... I'm just going to set like a five second duration. And I'm going to do no audio on either one of them. Because I just want to... Uh, okay, so let's run this and see what happens. So that's the Sonic and Chill one. And that's the start. I yeah, I'm not able to repro this. I don't know what's uh. I don't know. I don't know. This may have been fixed in. This may have been fixed in five five nine. Uh, let me go see, let's go look at the changes in, mm. 
Mm, playing YouTube videos hangs effect list. Um, let me just go make sure. Let me pop my sandbox now. Dog has been walked. Excellent. Excellent. There we go. Um, let's go to, let's download latest in the website, in the sandbox. Keep it, keep it, uh, open it, install Firebot on here. That is, that's what I'm thinking, Dennis. I think you may have fixed it. Yeah. I just want to make sure it's not like a fixed in 560. All right, let's go and... Um... Let me go back to this setup here. Uh, do I have the, I still have this open, okay. Because I don't know what this other fucking video is and honestly, I don't want to risk playing some bullshit. Nothing against whoever, I just don't know what it is and I'm not about to play some unknown YouTube video on my stream. Um, I'd rather play things that I know. All right, settings, setups, import setup. Let's go choose from the desktop, grab that, import. I don't need to log in for this. Uh, let's go to my overlays. Let's grab the overlay path, pop it in here. Overlays running. Um... Okay, let's see. I want to go and doesn't matter. Uh, sixty-seven for two, sixteen for three. Sure, I don't care. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm getting there. Uh, all right, that's ready. That's ready. Okay, that works. Yeah, okay. The All right. Um Let's see. 5 592. Yeah, 5592. Five, uh, okay. Yep. Comment. Okay. Done. All right. That's that one. Great. Love that. Um, all right. I don't, I don't even care about the autoplay. Like as long as it loads the video, then that one's going to be a little bit of a longer one. Um, Screen readers do not indicate if, if an effect is disabled or enabled. This is an accessibility thing, and I want to get this one done. Uh, we'll close that. We're still running. Great. Uh, okay, let's go into... We have the toggle effect, but I, I want to make sure... All right. Oh, toggle enabled is what it is, yeah. Okay. Um, OK, 
can you bind to our properties that cannot be bound to? I don't want to bind. Oh, wait, there's NG Aria. Ooh, okay, okay. I like this. Uh, it's as simple as requiring the NG Aria module in your application. Hooks into standard AngularJS directives and jacks the business ability to support into your applications at runtime. Visible under the hood to see the module as soon as you test a few things. You've finished Element Inspector, uh, Voice Server NVDA. Inside offense effect list, right? Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, anywhere that I have toggle enabled, I would like to be able to change that to, uh, say, Or at least anywhere I can I can try like effect cues, events, timers, and the effect list control. So um can I I think I can do that in there. I don't see why I couldn't. This is still fucking angular. Ice bear needs it for everyday hustling. Coco? Coco, hi, buddy. Thank you for the tier one sub for 34 months. Holy shit, pal. I can't believe it's been three years I've been doing this. I'm... I'm just floored. Coco, I love you, pal. I miss you. When are you coming to see me? Oh, my nose is itchy again. Uh. Uh. Hopefully sometime after the new year. Nice. Nice. Um... What is it? NG like. No, not controller. I want value. I want. Oh, God. It's been so long since I've done this. Is it just ng bind? It's literally just ng bind. Well, that's that makes too much sense. Hey, what happened to my? Oh. Okay. There, there we go. There's the music. Ah, uh, all right. Oh. Bind the HTML. I don't want to bind. I just want to bind. Yeah, that's fine. I can just do an ng bind. I don't even care. I'm just. I wonder if Everyone, I can just make this a spam. Holy God. This is a mature party. And no! CKY is just here to abuse me. Hi, buddy. How are you? CKY, thank you for the raid. Again. Hope you're doing alright this morning. You're just here to watch me do stuff. That sounds accurate. Yeah, that's 
pretty much. You know, listen, you, you're coming from his channel. You know how he is. Damn it, Dennis. I knew it. Um, can I do... I wonder if that works. That's a short list of things. Uh. To make all the logic and new models for all the things, nice. Um. All right, I'm going to, let's, let's, this is the actual effect list control, correct? Yeah, this is the effect list control. This is our, this is our big nasty one. Um... We're going to try this and see what happens. I'm going to, I might turn off uh, sub, like arrival sub sounds for now because this keeps resetting every time I close and reopen the app. Ah. Uh. All right, uh, this I can close for now. So I have a clean sandbox and I don't need this stuff anymore. There we go. Perfect. All right. What is happening over here? Did it, did it fuck up and disconnect again? Ah, uh, where is... Details... Let's run this again. Did we up the color bar for the OBS color change? Not yet, because there's a specific way that I want to do it. That variable was not intended for that use, is the thing. So that's not a bug, that's a feature request. That variable was intended for raw requests. All right, you're not using a shit ton of memory now, are you? No, you're fine. Okay, let's go to, uh, I don't know, let's go to the default alerts, no, general events, uh, always on alerts, that's the emote, sub sound, here we go, edit. Okay, so that's, I broke that. Use all the things for what they are not intended for, pretty much, yeah. Pretty fucking much. Alright, let's close all this stuff. Let's go back over here. Um, alright. Let's come back down to where I was.
I wonder if there's... Let me disable this for now. So I have... Yeah, that I fucked up. A way to validate variables for values. Or color something. That's... Dennis, that's a can of worms, pal. That's a can of worms because variables can't always be evaluated at creation time. They can only, some of them can only be evaluated in the context of an event or something like that. So is that an, is that nice? Yes. Is it going to happen? Not in version five. That's not going to happen in version five. Um, Okay, let's come back here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's going to have... I'm just going to have... Oh, I'll just do effect. Yeah. Oh, it's active. Is it active? Is it? Okay. Maybe that'll work. Do it. It's probably just my binding is crap. Okay, CKY. Thanks again for the raid, buddy. I appreciate you. I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, okay. Uh, stop. Restart. <laughs> yeah, I grabbed a couple of accessibility issues off of the backlog because I want to fix some of the accessibility stuff. Variables as numbers for durations. Then I can't validate them, CKY. So do you want variables or do you want validation? Pick one. Let me ask you, end users, do end users want variables or validations? Because they can pick one. Damn it. Do I have to bind HTMLs? Ooh. <laughs> Variables with warnings? I'll think about it. Then it's putting in feature request. All right. 
Uh, all right, let's go back here. Damn it, I cannot get this to. All right, Angular yes. find to property in here, repeat. Let's go through here and see what I can do. Uh, ng repeat, all right. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, I, I, God, I always forget that I can do that. Why do I always forget that? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe this is what I need. No, no, big time. What are we doing at the moment? Um, accessibility. So, uh, I'm still doing, Dennis, I'm still doing the thing with, uh, changing toggle effect to, or toggle enabled to disable versus enable. I'm just trying to get the binding to work. Yeah. What in the world? Oh god, it's Christmassy. Yeah, we're muting that for now. I don't want to listen to Christmas music. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. Ah, well, it'll be quiet for a minute. It's fine. Maybe it'll give me a chance to concentrate and... All right. Okay, that's doing its thing. Should be open in a second. Okay. It doesn't even bind. The binding's not running. Uh, I'm not, uh, all right, so there's no binding happening here whatsoever, which sucks. That's just that.
That's just setting context menu. Just the angular, okay. I. Ah. All right, let's go and see. Angular 4. Now, what, what are we using for context menus? Uh, Angular Bootstrap context menu. Alright, so this is Cave's code. This is the stuff that she had worked on, and... Are we done with that? Yeah, okay. There we go. Music's back. Turn that down just a smidge. Uh, you have bootstrap context menu. Wait, what? Templarian? Hey, that's Austin. Wait, Austin wrote this? That's my buddy Austin. Okay, that's pretty funny. I didn't realize that. And the context menu thing that we use is a fork of a project that m Cave worked on the fork. My buddy Austin made the original thing. That's cool. Does it support? Model. Oh, there's model. Oh, model, model, model. I like that. What's where's model? Reference is not passed to the item scope. Not using an. Oh, so it. Okay, I can use item scope. in the text by default. Okay, so there's an item scope. Hi, Texie. How you doing, buddy? It's going. I'm just trying to figure out some AngularJS binding stuff in this uh, library that we're using. Good lunch, the almighty lunchtime shower. Ooh, love a good lunchtime shower. Brief YouTube hole. Uh, it's going. Uh, working on accessibility stuff right now, so just learning how this particular thing works. So, yeah. So right now, um, something that we have is we have this toggle enabled. Okay, so toggle enabled will. Um, basically turn things on and off on the from the right click from the context menu the right click menu which is fine but for screen readers they don't have a way to easily see from this menu whether something is enabled or not so i want to set it to where instead of having toggle enabled we actually say enable this disable this 
So what I want to do is say, based on the, the active setting for FX, for example, if it's active, I want the menu to say disable it because it's already enabled. If it's not active, then I want to say to enable. But I don't know if binding works here. That's the thing that I'm worried about. So, see the problem here is it's not doing binding here, and I don't know, I don't know why you stopped that. Track your request, you always forget about run effects. Ah, there you go, CKY. It works but we're not getting any data binding on it. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if it'll let me. Um, Is that, is that, am, am I doing that wrong? Let's see if, let's go in here and see if I have anything in. Yeah, I don't know why that's... I don't know. I'm not... I don't know. This is really weird. I mean, it just, it just might not be doing binding. Uh, okay, this might be a... We have to come back to this. I'm going to stop and restart the bot one more time just to see if this works. But I don't think it's going to. I want to go see what Cave did to this. I want to see what her changes were. Offsets, positioning, positioning. Ooh, what did she do here? Okay, so she did some accessibility, but a lot to the actual, like, offsetting stuff. All right, let's go back here. Yeah, that's not working. This is it. This is this is all of the code for it. Item. Item. Dot compile.
Initialize our custom directive in HTML string. We can do that. Holy shit. All right, I think I fist. I think I found it. Really, Rain? I, CKY, buddy, I don't think you did. She just, life happens. Life happens and that's just Unfortunate sometimes. That's nice. Thanks, Tom. All right, now. All right, that's at least something. That's at least something. I don't want to use the browsers. I want to use the one that... Oh, for God's sake, just... All right, let's, we're gonna try this one last time. I think I might've gotten it. I'm hoping anyway. I love when like the little things pop up that it's trying to connect to Firebot, that's fun. On the overlay. All right. All right, it's still not doing what I want it to do, though. Hmm.
All right, let's look for where we had compiles. I don't like that because that seems like it's the menu element falling under the other elements. No, no, CKY. This is the thing where it just says toggle enabled where we want it to say in either enable or disable because right now on a screen reader it just says toggle enabled and someone doesn't know whether that means it's enabled or not. I'm all rendering the HTML. Well, let's go look at the source. I can buy the HTML string to initialize their custom directives in the HTML string. I mean, it's got a scope here, which gives us the item scope. Context menu options. I wonder, so it should in the render have it, should. I'm gonna try something else. Let me just try something else. Options, okay. Function item. Process item. Hi, kitty. How are you? You did that guy. Oh. Let's see. Boy, I have a really bad idea. You ever have a really bad idea? I 
I had a really bad idea once. Yeah, what did I... You're made of bad ideas? Yeah, I'm, I'm also made of bad ideas. How do you big the... Oh. Uh, I want just the effect. Where's the... I don't want that. I think this should work. I, I want to say this is going to work. I don't know, but we're going to try it and see what happens. Either it's going to work or it's going to fail spectacularly. Those are the only options I have here. Oh, I don't, I don't know, CKY. This is, Firebot is the only Angular JS project that I work on. I've worked on like regular Angular, like maintained Angular. Perfect. Failed spectacularly. Exactly as I suspected. Uh, yeah, I, I can relate with the, the mush brain. This is the controller. I'm in the controller. Okay, that's fine. Do I not get a scope here? No? There's none whatsoever? All right, well then we're gonna try this this way. And see what happens. Boy, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. A control, not a scope. Wait, what? Do I not? Oh, because it's a component. Hi, Yogurt. How you doing? I'm sorry. I am just all over the place. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, it doesn't matter, right?
I don't want the template. Take me down to the controller. Oh, alright. So then I guess... So this is probably going to fail anyway, so it's fine. You know, you brought Lurkin? Zip without packages? Oh, you sent it to CKY? Nice. Okay, so that doesn't work. So then... Let's go back and we're just going to stop this again. All right. I don't know whether I like the... I guess it's not so bad when I have more real estate. Okay. One last time. Otherwise, I'm going to give up on this for now because I don't think I could do it. And this is just... Yogurt's been learning C-sharp. Nice! C-sharp is my language of choice. I'm a big fan. Big, big fan. Really, really like... Really, really like C-sharp. Okay, last time... Okay, so this isn't working. This isn't gonna... <sighs> oh, maybe... Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Okay. Building your own bot and going to integrate some Azure Speech to Text API. Azure Text to Speech. Ooh, I have um I have some code that you might be interested in. I mean, it's not it ain't pretty by any means. Uh, but um Yeah. So it's not uh IRC chat client. Hey, listen, that's how they start. That's how they start. Here, if you want to see my code that I did um working on or working with the Azure cognitive speech to text stuff, that's what I used to use for my captions. Just it's expensive. It is expensive as fuck. Um, like I was spending $50 a month just on, cause just of all the streaming I do to have my captions and send my captions, uh, or to get my captions from, send my audio and get my captions from Azure. Yeah. Text to speech isn't bad. Speech to text is bad. <laughs> uh, the context menu on line 162. Huh. No, I don't think I did. I changed it up here, but I didn't change it down there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Let's try that. I I doubt it's gonna work. Uh, but you love watching this shit. Thanks, Perny. I also have no idea what's going on. 
Oh, see, I, I actually need to know what's going on, or at least have a, a relative idea. Open a, open a GPT to Azure TTS, make a companion. Yeah, Windows speech recognition is awful. Skywriter has an option to use the, the built-in Windows speech recognition, but it is terrible. It is just the worst. It's fine, Dennis. It's not a big deal. I'll, it's something I can come back to. All right, this is new. Oh, wait a minute. I'm making it, but I'm not returning it. Maybe that's the problem. Um, let's go back to, cause I'll, I'll just keep it on the control. That's not a big deal. Let's go back to this. That returns the value. That's, yep, that'll do it. <laughs> All right, Dennis, get, get some dinner, buddy. Okay, Perny. Their speech attacks, good to know Azure is expensive. Open source speech attacks when I'm trying to keep the program light as it's stream bot to run while gaming. Yeah, that's, I haven't looked into many alternatives yet, Yogurt. Um, I'm really hoping to get some kind of a, God, if I could have like a local running instance of what Azure's cognitive does, that would be great, but they don't do that. Okay. Um, Must return the things, yeah. Nuance had a good one. Yeah. All right, let's see what we get here. Damn. I have one last thing I want to do. I keep saying that, but I really want this to work. Dragon naturally speaking. Yeah. Naturally, yeah, Dragon naturally has always been really good. That's always been like the forefront of like local machine speech stuff. Crash course in C sharp trying to use the bot as a learning device. Think learning fairness. There you go. I'd, I'm the same way, Yogurt. I'm very much a learn by doing kind of person. Very much a learn by doing kind of person. Oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> All right, let's go back and make sure I didn't change anything I shouldn't have. Effect menu options, create effect menu options for the effect.
Uh, wild. Absolutely fucking wild. Uh, this is the other thing too. What other thing, CKY? Fucking A. Now the new control element, correct? Uh, it's no, it's not a new element. It's the same thing that it was. It's just creating the stuff on the fly. I didn't create a new element. I just changed uh, how it generates the options for it. All right, let's do that. Because I had changed that to options. All right. Let's do one last thing to make sure I didn't introduce a uh, a regression in here. Okay, um, I fixed that. Okay, so the right click still works. That's still, that's new and works. Okay, I'm into this. Love it. All right, so that works. Which means if I go to another command, like the test commands. Yes. Yes. All right, now I just have to do what I did here in like seven other places. For like all the things, yeah. All right, uh, toggle enabled. All right, this one's going to be compiled. Um, hi, Batsy. Didn't say that you put a picture of your rack in my DMs. Oh, I saw Batsy. I saw it was very impressive. I too would like to have a rack of ribs. Okay, so this was done a little bit differently, which is good. So I can come down here and steal this. And to trim a bit. No, I think it looks really good, Bats. You did a great job. Um.
So it is active. Okay. We do call them scheduled tasks, right? Yeah. Our I know that's wordy, but that's the name of it. I don't... Mm, I'm going to try something. <sighs> Thanks, Batsy. Thanks. It is wordy, but it's correct. Um, we're going to try something. Oh. Damn, now I want to play fucking Wind Waker. God, I love Wind Waker so much. Wind Waker HDs. Oh. Let me buy it again on the Switch, you cowards. Okay. It's it's gotta have the compile option. Whoa, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that an enable versus an, an active? Oh, it's an enabled versus an active. Okay, maybe that's what it is. Alright, let's do one more restart and see what happens. Christmas is in a week, so hate that for, for I don't know, timing, I guess. That's a disable. That's an enable. I don't even need the compile option because it builds the options on the fly. I don't need the compile. Nope, I don't need it there. I bet I don't need it here. Now I want to play fucking. Ma oh, I should, I should do, I should do the combo. Um, uh, what's the three variables? Just typos. What three? Which three variables? Cky.
I really got to do something about this arm. Like, I got to oil it or something. Tired of the squeakies. Polls and predictions. Uh, the one was a... The one was a typo. Um, as far as the other ones, I don't know that there was... I haven't looked at the other ones, but I know the one was a, just a typo. So I fixed that one. All right. Um, let's go to events. Oh, God bless. This is also already a function. That's something else that I'm going to change in. I want to change in version six. Okay. Toggle effect Q is it's active. Okay, so that's an active state. I don't know. Oops. Disable effect Q. Enable effect Q. Ten percent needs a default. I know the one it well level does a uh I don't know. I have to look at it. I'll look at it and see what I can do. I mean, I might, I might have it just return back blanks, like just do blanks, because I sort out. Yeah, I got it, Dennis. I got it. And the one is blank. The other one's not a number, and I need to fix it to be not a to be not not a number. Active. Okay, so we're going to make this is active. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just leave it as blanks because, like, you know. No, that's fair. I just, I don't want to. That's not an error state. That's just a, yeah, this isn't a thing happening right now. So. No, Dennis, it wasn't. It was, I mean, yes, but also no. Uh, all right, that's that. Didn't this played earlier, like today, 
like this stream. All right, where else do we have toggle enabled? We have item, right? Yeah, okay. All right, channel rewards are done. This command, system commands. This is system commands. Mm. Nope. Don't you try this bullshit on me. Uh, we go... Command. Options. <sighs> right here with someone I want to tell you. Leonard, thanks for making it. Oh, thank you. I listen. I'm. Um. I. I'm just a small part of the team. There are a lot of people that make this bot run. Uh, let me tell you. And. Um. It is absolutely a big effort by a lot of folks. Um, we uh, we put a lot of time and love into Firebot because it's it's a very special passion project for us. Um, we care a lot about it, and we know it's not perfect. We know there's a lot of stuff that can be improved upon. That's part of what I'm doing here today is going through stuff like I'm doing some accessibility changes here. Um, because that's, I know one thing where we have um, some great stuff is accessibility, but also where we could use some big improvements. Um, so uh, I'm, I know there's, there's a lot of stuff that can be frustrating to folks. I know the next update, there's going to be some frustrating bits to it, but we're trying to make this a very, very feature and fix packed update to kind of help soothe the the stuff that's not going to be as fun um, with the next update. So um, thank you. That means a whole lot. That means a whole lot to us. Um, we really, really appreciate uh, any and all kind words that come our way. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. Um, I will be back in just a couple minutes. Um, so stick around. Uh, and then we're going to finish up this, uh, this one issue get everything tested and make sure it's all good. And then we'll, uh, we'll button this one up and move on to the next one. So I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, oh, nice yogurt. That's cool. That's really cool. All right, welcome back. About to clock out for the day? Yes. I'm about to wrap this up. You clocked out the second you logged in. That's that's fair, pal. That's very fair. Uh, this should work because <clears throat> we bring in the command. I don't do any of that stuff. We have the command property. Okay. Boss makes a dollar. I make a dime. That's why poop on company time. I can't do that anymore. Because I'm my boss now. We have another one up here. So I can do this too. Uh, oh, I don't think I can do it at that point. I have to do, I have to do this number here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that number. All right, that's fine. Um, but I can come. I can come steal this. All right, let's. All right, that's everything. So we have several places we need to test now. Uh, was read API broke? It wasn't right. It was weird, but I just refactored it because it was in JavaScript still anyway. So I went ahead and put it in TypeScript. There was parts where it was still responding with strings when it shouldn't have been or some or not. I don't know. I think raw was broken. Raw was doing things to it was stringifying things it shouldn't have. Ah. Okay, now we're gonna stop the bot. And we're gonna. S what are you angry about? Command is defined. Oh, oh, I don't need that. You know what? I'm gonna leave that as a. I'm gonna leave that as a function though. Okay, now we can build it. Seven days to die made up 15% of your total gaming intensity year, and at one point you played in 43 consecutive days by a large margin. Yeah, that may, that tracks. That tracks, Tom. I believe it. I believe it. All right. Okay, so let's see. Enable event, disable event. Okay. We're going to go through these one by one. Channel rewards. 
Channel rewards. Uh, there's toggle paused too. I might do pause while I'm here too. Enable, disable. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then the raw return of the request to be used with another variable. Yeah. Well, Tom eats hot dogs. And you are what you eat. And hot dogs are also called Franks. So Tom can also be Frank. Which will also make me Frank. Okay. Commands. Just on the command itself. Let's go my test command. Disable. Enable. Okay. All right. Effect cues. All right. Where's my... Uh, my cues. Disable effect cue. Enable effect cue. All right. Events. I think we tested this already, but... Event. Disable event. Hey, look at that. It worked for, like, a split second. That's funny. Liz hit it in the middle of, like, the... That's funny. Timers and scheduled tasks, or scheduled effects lists. So... Uh, let's see. Enable timer. Disable timer. You typed, Liz, and because I restarted the bot, and it, sh it acted like you had a just arrived because you weren't here. Um, so it triggered your sub sound. Enable, disable. Okay. So rewards work. Commands work. Effect cues work. Events work. Timers and scheduled effect lists worked. The effect lists themselves work. All right, and the last one is system commands. Ooh, wow. Reward should have paused. Yep, that's on my list, Dennis. I already caught that one. Will it work from effect? Um, there's that and that. Let's go here. What do you mean, CKY? Like, on the actual effect itself? I mean, this works, because I've been doing it. Refreshes it on the front end. New effect, update, whatever. Oh, the toggle command? Yeah. Yeah, because it sends a... Because it builds it based on what the value is at the time. So if I go in here and do like... So I'm going to do a thing to disable test 2. And I right click, it has enable because it's based on it, pull, like it, it generates the menu at the time you right click it or the time you click it over here.
I need the update things to be update and not this name, that toggle, this name, this, that name. That's, yeah, that's small potatoes, though, CKY. That's, that's a, hmm. bye, Liz, see you when you get home. That's a V, that's a V6, I'll call it V6, I'll call it V6. You're just finding information to send to a representative. You got something to do high? Oh, yeah, no, that, yeah, 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 kitty, do that. Wait, do it how what's our wording? Is it unpaused? It's unpaused. Unpause. Pause. I think it's is paused. Yeah, okay, it is it's is paused. Okay. Uh okay. Um, I'm going to do this one last thing just to be sure. What the government do to be on disability? How much of anything outside of that? Oof. Oof, kitty. Version 6.5. I mean, version 6 something. We do her entire audio system today. Oh, nice, Batsy. I've done that. I've, yeah, I've been there. I have absolutely done that. It's, uh... Oh boy, it's a thing. That's a goddamn thing. Uh, okay. And then update Q and update reward and toggle all the rest of the things. Yeah, I know, CKY. I know. We'll we'll get there. What the hell is this? Oh. Uh, okay. Alright, let's go back to... Wait, it was channel rewards, right? Um, disable, pause, unpause, disable, enable, pause, disable, have you checked your bottle? It's fine, Batsy. Don't worry about it. It's just doing its... It's confused. It's... It's fine. I guess I could turn that off, too. I could turn that off for now. Because I can right-click Disable. Reset your PC after you found that. Oh, God. Oh, kitty, I'm sorry. That sucks. Yeah, that was not fun. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna ship it. How do we do this? Are we doing, are we doing like this? I want to do it like this, I think. Yeah. Toggle enabled slash pause menu options now better indicate current state. All right, what's the... Let's go. Context menu options now better indicate current state. I think that's the best way to do it for a commit message. 
I'm going to turn your PC off so you could then reset it. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, the panic of having to, like, shut your shit down. Alright. Um, I'm happy with this. Uh... What's the A11Y? It's a sh that's a shorthand for accessibility. A11Y is shorthand for accessibility, just like I18N is a shorthand for interna internationalization. It's just a uh, it's just a shorthand. Oh yeah, I saw Kitty. I got one of the messages from them, and I told them to fuck them for trying to scam you or for stealing your shit. And Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and push this. Twenty two eighteen, yeah, twenty two eighteen. We're done with that. Twenty two eighteen. Okay, I'm I'm happy with it. All right, we all yes, we all know you don't say hello. Kitty, like, just goes into shit. And... Kitty does not say hello. She's like, I got new shoes, bitch. <laughs> uh, Alright, so this is in. I'm going to mark this as release pending, which means it will mark it as dev complete. I'm going to clear myself as an assignee because I'm done with it now. Dennis, thanks for the lurk, buddy. Well, this was a this was a this was a hairy one to get figured out, but I'm really glad we did. Love this. All right, GitHub Actions bot has updated it. Um. All right. And. I want to see where's release pending. Oh, I guess I I took I keep taking myself off of stuff, so that's fine. Um Okay. Subs gifted variable. God, the Q system's not gonna happen. Unless you're regularly physically breaking into it. What the fuck? What is wrong with people? Hi, sweet girl. What are you doing? Did you come say hello? Did you come to say hello? Hey. Oh. Loaf just woke up and she came to say hello. Came to say hello. You give him kisses? Oh, there's kisses. So good. You gonna get in the chair? Go to the chair? Where's Strawby? Strawby in the chair? No? You wanna come say hi? You on here? Come see bear. Want some pets? Come on. Okay. Peace. Peace with bear. Oop. No. The cat. Okay. <sighs> Love that loaf. It was like your personal ID using a bank ID to your keychain and password so you can't pay for anything online without all three. There you go. Well, that's good, kitty. One time my debit card got stolen and someone tried to buy like a not great HP digital camera and photo printer with it. And um, about half an hour after I found out, I had their address. This was 
like over 15 years ago, though. Hello? Hello? Come here. Come on. Come get a scoop. Come get a scoop. Scoop the cat. Yeah? Come on. I know Snuggle Cat. I know Cuddler. She just wants to snuggle. I know your Discord said it was in the Netherlands. Probably a proxy. I guarantee it. Yeah, like a Nord VPN or something. Size of a bunch of kale this week. That's sure. Americans will use anything but the metric system. More obscure. You're here for it. Need brownies. She's literally doing it in flips. Oh my god, that's funny. Running around town with a physical copy of your card. Oh my god. Raised all the charges. Had to pick. Up. That's really cool. That's really cool. Banks are getting better about that. They are getting better about that kind of stuff, where they can quickly like cancel and reissue, even like on site. Okay, overlay title per instance. Um, CKY put this one in. It would be nice for debugging to have the title of the overlay to include the instance so that when looking at them in the OBS debug or anywhere, you can see what instance is what. There's only the Firebot overlay title. He's making her presence known. She takes after Auntie Dana. Aw, she does. Okay, overlay. Wrapper for Firebot's overlay. This is... This is the one where we redirect to the overlay. Which is here. The spinner is a hack to force OBS to always render the page while videos are playing. I love that. That's great. Yeah, CKY buddy, I know. I'm I'm looking at it. Do you do you see me looking at it? I'm looking at it, buddy. All right. Well, then we're just going to inject some fucking JavaScript here. Um, how do we do it? BRBs. Okay. Let's go grab overlay URL. Oh, did I re-enable my test command? I did. Okay. Uh, let's see. Settings. Overlay, get overlay path, let's copy. Let's actually, let's edit my instances. Get one for instance two. Okay, because I don't think I use instance two. Okay. All right. Um, what is it? What the hell is it? I never remember anything. <laughs> it's Windows locations. Oh, wait, what? It really messes with working with the query string of URL. When did we get this? Oh, we've had this for a while. Oh, this, yeah, that's been around for a minute. Huh.
Long time. Huh, how about that? Okay. Um Can we do location or do we have to do window dot location? I guess we have to do window dot location. Okay. ES3, that's a while. What's a, what's the uh, da, 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 instance? If, very params instance. And, uh, wait, document dot title equals Uh, okay. We're going to do change this to Yeah, is that working? Does it work with an index? It's got keys, so I'm assuming it works with an index. Okay, we'll just do it the old fashioned way where we do it in the con in the console and see what it does. Okay. All right, it doesn't do it with that, so. Okay, so it has to have it. And so we can't do it that way. What if I just do this? It has it. Dot get. If it doesn't have it, all right, I think that'll work. Oh, are you laying on your bag? Loaf is laying on her bag on her f on the floor. She is on the floor laying on the Hello. Hi, sweet girl. What is she doing? Oh, she's being very good. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so this should be fine. Let's restart. Get to line. Oh yeah, you're right. All right, well, let's, I'm just gonna stop real quick. There we go. What you doing? I love that cat. All right, reloading. Okay, everything's loaded, great, cool. Close tabs to the right. Firebot overlay instance two. Default. All right, let's see. Overlay, get overlay path. So we'll copy the default one. That's the default one. Uh, edit instances. Let's get the one for the news bar. Why didn't that copy? There you go. News bar. Okay, there we go. Four hundred twenty-five achievements. The little object progression. No, had no. I would have never guessed. <laughs> I can stop whenever I want. Okay. Okay, there we go. There you go, CKY. This is an overlay feature. I need to get better about... I need to get better about that kind of stuff. This is 2185. For instance, debug. Everyone, please control yourselves. This is a mature party. And no! Hi, Zara. Sarah, how you doing, buddy? Man, we're just getting all the braids today. <clears throat> there you go. Zara, welcome in, pal. For those of you coming in from the Zara raid, hello, hello, hello. Um, I'm Zunderscore. I'm a variety streamer. I do some gaming. I do some coding. And today, I'm going through a bunch of Firebot stuff and uh, taking care of some, some of the smaller issues that we can do. So... Uh, yeah, Zara, welcome in, buddy. No, Firebot's actually not on fire today. Today it's actually working pretty well. Pretty, pretty happy with how things are going today. I've gotten a couple of things done. Gotten one, two, three, four things committed today. That's not bad. Okay. I'm gonna mark this as release pending. Remove myself from the assignment. Yeah, I'm just getting some... Let's get some things taken care of. All right, no, no longer assigned. All right. Buttons in the manage backup section under settings have no labels. This is also an accessibility issue. 
Okay, let's go. All right, we're going to close this. Zara, how was how was stream, buddy? I caught a little bit this morning. How was the rest of stream? The army stuff looked in can angular, so that's fine. We'll figure it out. It's not a big deal. Um Oh, this is just straight up ang Oh, this is oh, it's a yeah, it's a template. Okay, that's fine. Good. Astri is great, but back to Rogue Trader tomorrow. Nice. <gasps> Welcome back, Liz. Glad you're home. That's a... Wow, that's a span. Those, okay, first of all, those should probably be links. Those should probably be A's and not. Go to my backups and manage backups. Boy, I got a lot of backups from a while back. Farm Paley Minpalia, as long as it'll let you. There you go. Godspeed. Hopefully the game works today. Got ads starting in about three minutes. Okay, um... So these don't have labels on them because they're they have tooltips. They have the like tooltip, but they don't have a label. Didn't they just play this? They did. Okay, sure, game chops. Whatever you say, buddy. Then they they let me play it. I don't care. Aside from occasional crashes, trouble with adding cross-platform players to party, etc. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, that's always not a fun time. Um, okay. Uh, what aria attributes do we have? Aria states and properties. We use label. Defines a string value that labels an interactive element. Sometimes the default accessible name of an element is missing. What's the accessible name? Invisible, the text alternate. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. And there's no context visible in the DOM that can be associated with the object to give it meaning. A common example is a button containing an SVG or icon without any text, which in this case, it has tooltip text, but that doesn't count because it doesn't read. Um, okay. So we just need ARIA labels on them. Interactive elements are elements made to be interactive via other ARIA declarations when there's no appropriate text visible in the DOM that could be referenced as a label. Okay, so in this case, I think we just need ARIA labels here. Um, delete backup. Prevent auto deletion, restore this 
Restore backup. Delete backup. I think I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna change these just to make it simpler. It's a super fun game, but the bugs are pretty glaring from a company the size of what it is. Yeah, it's just... Like... Boy, howdy, they just keep trying, and it's just... It seems like it's worked less than it has, or it's it's like been broken more than it's worked lately. And I don't I don't get it. Um. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna use B or Control F to or back up with the enter on manage backups. Each of the buttons has no label when tapping, tabbing, or using arrow keys. Use a screenshot of the affected area. Um, I don't have a screen reader. No. I mean, I can try it. You're trying to ant in too much too quickly before getting the base game solidified? Yeah, it is. It is. That's exactly what it is, Liz. Like, I know they want to provide content to people, and that's great. Like, I love that. But they got to actually make the game playable. It's just not playable, man. Did I, did I not, did I click download? Oh, I'm on the download. Oh, I have to scroll down. I see. All right, let's. What? Oh my God. NVD, N, N, create, N, NVD, information about how to obtain and I, NVD. Install NVDA on this computer. I wonder if Narrator will run. N NVD Desktop Windows ML Source. Desktop Windows ML Source. Firebit v5. Firebit v5.60.0. Three hours ago. 3,210 KB v5.60.0. Okay. Desk Fire Desktop Windows. NVDA launcher dialog. I agree. A okay, we're gonna close that for now because holy crap! Like, I understand. I understand the usefulness. That's a lot for me. Just so we're going to. I've added this in. I'm going to restart the bot. Just so we can. All right. Let's see. Let me open it again because... Zunders... NVD, NVD, NVDA, Firebit v5, manage backups. 
three hours ago. 9. 3200. December 15th. 9. Prevent. Restore backup button. Prevent auto deletion button. Restore backup button. Delete backup button. Prevent auto. Restore backup button. Delete backup button. Prevent auto deletion button. 19 hours ago. Death pain. Bug buttons in the manage backup section under settings have no. I should be able to manage my backups in. Find, use B or Control F and search for backup. Once found in the settings section, hit Enter. Find, notice that this. Notice that each of the buttons has no label when tabbing or using arrow keys. And death pane. Dot. Restore backup button. Delete backup button. Prevent auto deletion button. Restore backup button. December 15th, 4.38 p.m. 3. Prevent auto deletion button. Okay, I'm... I'm not, I'm not an expert on this, but if the, the screen reader is, n like, marking this as a button now... December 15th, open backups folder. Close. Restore backup button. Prevent auto deletion button. Part of me Desk wants to settings.html, firebit, visuals, death, you, and exit. Ex okay. No. I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna go ahead and I think this is okay um if it needs to be changed we can do that but at least it's identifying the buttons now it yeah Perry it really does that's what v6 is for right buddy all right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this as good for now. Um, I don't already labels. Hi, buddy. Good to see you. I've been uh I've been kind of busy today. All right. 22 12 22 12 These have labels now. Yeah, that's not something that happens tomorrow. No, it's not. It's not. Well, that's part of why I'm trying to get some of this, like, smaller stuff out of the way if I can, uh, because I want to add ARIA labels to backup manager dialog buttons. All right, I'm going to go ahead and push that. And that should have, that should be marked now. There we are. I'm going to mark this as release pending and I'm going to take myself off of it. Okay. That's good. I like that. Um, okay. All right. Subs gifted variable. Dennis. Dennis. All right. 
close to the right. Let's go to Uh, I don't know. I don't feature request anymore. And that's why details matter. Well, here's the thing. Um, Twitch gives sub chat events. Let's go look at. Let's go look at chat. Chat. Um. Those are all the notices. All right, let's go look and see what we've got here. Uh, chat, sub gift info. Gifter, gift count, the number of subscriptions the gifting user has already gifted in total. All right, so that's what I want. Okay. Okay, sure. All right, so then we're going to put this on those two events. Problem is, I won't. Oh, boy. All right. We'll figure out a way to test this. It's fine. Um, all right, variables, Twitch. Subs. Gifted. <sighs> All right, let's. Boy. Loves this. Okay. Uh, what do we bring in? We bring in the trigger. Yeah. Metadata dot Trigger. 
Regular metadata, event data, and total subs gifted by user. There we go. Now, what do I have installed? Um, this, this is just part of the uh, VS debug stuff. So IF5 in, uh, IF5 in VS code. Um, in here under launch, there are launches for the render and main, and then there's an all. My render isn't attaching right for some reason right now. I don't know why. I don't really care because I do all of my debugging in the dev tools anyway on the front end. Um, and the, uh, when I go to debug, I have mine set to do electron main. So it runs electron, connects to the remote debugging port, and it's just like a regular debug session. Um, my theme is dark modern. That's the, uh, I'm using dark modern and then the, it's not VS Codium, it's the insider build of VS Code. So I stay on insider build. Uh, okay. Now let's go back here. I want to let's go get Okay, we're going to go in here and There we go. Uh, the events that I want to do are community subs gifted and subs gifted. Okay. Uh, I want triggers to be the triggers. Perfect. In the Python control until the session is closed. Also, hi, Nico Hart. Welcome in. You stood in your home. You open the door. Oh my God, kitty. Total number of subs the user has gifted to the channel. Okay, um, and then I need to... All right. Happy with that. Mission work is happening in your apartment. Good Lord, Kitty. There's always renovations happening in your apartment. All right, now we just need to load this bad boy. Where's the loader? I gotta start re rearranging these two. Subs gifted. Export. Oh, I guess, I guess that works. It's fine. I'll let it be. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, Nico. Thanks for uh, thanks for asking. Uh, okay. I I'm not sure how to test this. Uh, I guess this is going to be one of those where, like, we hope for the best. Like.
Also, I, I don't like module.exports. I like export equals. That's just me. That's just me. Hi, kitty. What you doing? Oh, did you flop over? Oh, she's flopped. Oh, her little belly's out. Oh, what you doing? You have a tiny meow for bear? Yeah? Hello? Hello, I love you. Oh, she's such a best kitten's cat. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have the chat listener does that. Uh, the sub gift does that. We load the variable and there's the actual variable. All right, so we're gonna, let's stop and restart this thing. Make sure it loads. Okay. Um, I guess I can just go to, yeah, I can go to the event. Um, default alerts. Gifted. Add new effect. Chat feed alert. User has gifted a total of Yeah, I can do that. Um right. God, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. User has gifted a total of Gifted I mean, I think that works. Subs gifted the total number of subs the user has gifted to the streamer. Gifted to the channel. I'm going to change that to channel. Gifted in the channel. That's gifted in the channel. That's better. Okay, that'll be, that's fine. That'll be fixed. I guess I can just copy that and come in here and paste. Yeah. I'm going to change that to gift giver username because that's, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I guess that's, that's going to be hard to test. Um, no, you know what? I can gift a month to the bot to test it. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. CKY. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for gifting Perry a sub. Total of... Is that your first gift sub? It is your first gift sub. Well, I mean... 
That works. I've gifted the bot before. Let me try the... Let me gift one. CKY, thank you for gifting a sub to Perry, buddy. I appreciate that. All right, let me gift one to the bot, because I know I've gifted one before. Um, I'll just give the bot a month. What in the what is happening? Why can't I why can't I give the the bot? Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. It doesn't count me because... It doesn't count me because I'm the streamer and I don't count towards the... I mean, maybe? I don't know, that's really weird. Uh, yeah, I'm, it might be one of those weird, I'm the streamer, so I don't count as total gifted. It's fine. It worked for CKYs. That's the best testing that I'm going to get right now, so I'm not worried about it. Um, I'm just, I'm going to, yeah, if it, Dennis, if it doesn't work later, we can fix it. Oh my god. Well, Perry, thank you for uh for the five gift subs and for starting a hype train. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Um Where's my By the way, Firebot users hype train that's coming. That's coming. Um, where's, where's my whistle? There we go. Hello, Loaf. Loaf got up. She's like, oh, what the heck? Let's just test multiple things at once. It came in as zero still, so I have fucked this up somehow. Well... It's Firebot. Firebot's not my bot. It's a bot that I work on. It's a bot that I work on. I'm part of the team for. Uh, Perry's part of the team. CKY and Dennis, they're a couple of our Firebot experts that uh, contribute code as well. Um, so I'm I'm just one part of the team. There's a lot of folks that work on it. Um, so Perry, thank you again for the five gift subs and for testing the thing that doesn't work. I appreciate it, buddy. it for everyday hustling. Matt Calder. How dare you? 28 months. Holy shit, buddy. Holy shit. Also, hi, Gannett. I don't know if I said it. The only one daring to do it in public, right? Uh, Matt, thank you for 28 months, buddy. Holy shit. Uh, I'm okay. I'm getting some stuff done. Um, not everything's working the way I want it to right now, but it's, you know, it's good. It's happening. Uh, I don't know why the... Let's, let's, 
let's dig into this a little bit and where's my we're gonna new window this thing new window we're gonna open twerpal uh Had zero do you not having gifted before? Yeah, but CKY's triggered and had one even though he had never gifted before. I don't know, maybe community doesn't do it. I don't know. But then mine didn't count either, so I'm not entirely sure. Total reward count. Let's see if they have anything. Twitch IRC tags. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Perry. Perry, thank you for gifting another sub. Went to Calix. Yeah, it's still not it, I'm I'm going to assume it's busted, so if you want to help, if you want to get listen, if you want to donate subs, please by all means, I will take your subscriptions. I just don't know why it's not. I guess I could put a breakpoint on it and see what's going on. Wait, no, no, because that's not where we trigger that. We trigger that for science. Hmm. See, here we do that. Oh, I bet I know what it is. Well, no, that doesn't explain mine. God, they don't have this... These are all commands. I don't need these. That's much for stuff like this, so we could trigger the actual triggers organically. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I this is all via IRC right now, Perry, and like it's gonna go away because we're we're gonna get chat over event sub, which I'd rather use anyway. I want to see something. Let's see if the chat notification has it. Sub gift. The amount of gifts the gifter has given in this channel. Null if anonymous. So there's going to be that. Everyone, please control yourself. This oh is my gosh. No! Hi, Ever. Ever, are you playing Sand Rock again? Thank y'all for the hype train. You were. I'm. I'm gonna play Sand Rock at some point. I gotta go back and play Porsche again though, or finish it up at least. All right. So here's here's kind of where I am. <gasps> Wait, I got a new. Oh, we got new emotes. Oh my God, there's new hype train emotes. I forgot. Oh my God. I forgot there's new hype train emotes. Um, they are cute. Um, all right, so here's.
Okay, so for gifts. Yeah, cumulative total looks good. We just, we can't use it yet. So I was talking about this some last night. Um, there is a new, there are new chat notification or chat events in event sub. Um, So we have the new chat clear, chat clear user messages, chat message delete, and chat notification. And these are all in event sub. So this is pretty much everything but actual chat messages themselves. <laughs> nice, Nico. Nice, buddy. Um, so these are actually these are these are notifications for everything in chat that isn't a chat message. So like clearing chat clearing all the messages for a specific user, like if someone gets timed out or banned, um, deleting an individual message, or chat notification, which chat notification includes um, subs, resubs, gift subs, community gift subs, paid upgrades, prime paid upgrades, raid, unraid, pay it forwards, announcements, bit badge tier unlocks, charity donations, all that stuff comes in over chat notifications. So the stuff that we see in chat now, that stuff, those will come in over um, event sub, which is great. But we use a library called Twirple to interface with Twitch. It's it's the the it's basically the conduit between us and Twitch. Um, because it's got a lot of like uh, nice things for for us to be able to access programmatically and handle some things for us, which is, which I really appreciate. This is not yet implemented in Twirple, so we cannot consume it. <clears throat> Otherwise I would have to write a whole bunch of stuff around this to do it. So I have, I, I can't use this yet. So what I may end up doing is I may hold off on this. That's, that's twerple. I may hold off on this until we get support from twerple because apparently it's like it's it's not uh, it's not giving us everything we want. Because I have the, I'm, I'm passing it down here, but obviously that is, like, is there somewhere else where this is being set up? That's filters, events. Sometimes, yeah. So I think what I may end up doing is I'm going to, I'm gonna stash this for now. Yeah, we're gonna stash this for now because include untracked. Um, focus on more important things, yeah. Yeah, I'm just, it's not that this isn't important, it's just we can't do it right now, feasibly. Um, so I'm gonna go into the issue. Is... As blocked until we can consume channel dot chat dot location seven event uh
the channel chat notification, right? Channel chat notification. Okay. Yes. Yep. Uh, okay. So comment. This is can't do anything with it. Blocked. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take myself off of this for now. Cause I just assigned myself to, I can review a bunch of stuff. So we'll come back to it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Hmm. All right, I have six that are still assigned to me. So let's see what we can do now. Clear messaging regarding activity feed label hiding. When the activity feed section isn't wide enough, e.g. on a less wide screen, labels inside of the event are hidden without clear messaging. You can hidden by looking into the source code. There's currently no messaging about this. Text cut off. It's a confusing scenario. Okay, are you, Dennis, are you talking about this right here? Let's skip this. You're talking about this? Let's... It just needs a tool tip. I think it just needs a tooltip. Let's just do a tooltip. Let's open up DevTools. Okay, that's the... That's the message. I mean, I could probably put a tooltip in here. I'm going to close Torpo for now. Um, let's go to the activity feed. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, cuddle cat. Loaf keeps coming up and snuggling. The problem is that someone entering an activity, the activity feed goes blank for the users, even though it was fine earlier, so they don't understand why it went blank. Let's go. the activity feed let's just look for it all right okay oh right 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 it's just all part of this okay there's the icon and here's the actual text of it Activity message. All right, we have a class. We have a CSS class for this. Is that it? That's all we have? That's okay. Uh, it shouldn't go blank unless the width is so narrow that it only has room for the icon. If the text doesn't fit the space, instead of truncating the text. I have an idea. Um, Alright, let's... 
All right, let's pull this over here for a second. That's fine. Where's the... no. God, in my head I'm like, browser dev, dev tools, browser, browser, browser. Hello, kitten. Oh, she's sitting right next to me. It scratches. Wanna come say hi? Wanna say hi to friends? Wanna scoop the cat? Yeah? Oh, okay. She's just not wanting to get scooped today. <clears throat> Ungroup Firebot Windows. No. I will not. Honestly, I probably should. All right, let's see. Um... Okay, this is the message. It hide event label? What the fuck is hide event label? What? Oh, this is almost it's incorrect activity fee label display. I'm just. Okay. What if I put a max height on it? So let's come here and go. My current computed height is 55. All right, what if I do like a. So I have the activity. What if I make activity, let's say, max height of 100 pixels, right? Then we come down here, and I can say, I've got width of 100, let's go, Text, uh, what's the truncate? Is it, let me, f I'll figure it out. Um, text overflow, there it is. Uh,
It's not overflowing. I mean, it's it's oh, it's it is overflowing, and it shouldn't be. What if I max height this to eighty pixels? Why aren't you overflowing? What? Stop doing that. DevTools don't right click and that irritates the shit out of me. That's going to be the next thing that I fix. The scrolly majig. That's precious. That's hilarious. That's fantastic. I love. It's terrible, and I love it. I don't want it. Nudes! Nudes, what's up, buddy? How are you? Got to have dinner with nudes when I was in Vegas. Um, I'm doing all right, pal. I'm uh, working on Firebot, trying to get some some styling here to work the way I want it to. Oh man, that's oof. No, oh, god damn it. Well, this is a pain in the ass. That was. I loved that dinner. That was just the absolute best. I could not think of a better way to cap off that week or that weekend. It's so good. I miss all y'all. Man, I, this is... Oh, God, the meat sticks. Oh. Mmm, meat stick. So good. All right. Yes, CKY.
and fix the URL for overlays. What do you mean? Can I fix the URL? That can you can you can you be more specific, pal? I don't know what that means because overlays are working. Fixed it and PR'd it. And... Oh, this thing? Wait a minute. What? Where did you PR it? And... Where is their PR? I don't have a PR. I don't see any open PRs. Author. Oh, so you're talking mad shit is what's happening. Perry's over here talking mad shit. And... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh huh. Wow. Now it's there. Listen, buddy, I don't know what to tell you, but I don't see the, I don't see a PR. It's pushing the PR. <laughs> Your fork. <laughs> um, oh, Perry. Because computers, bud. <laughs> Fucking computers. Oh, that's great. You did that in Crowbar, not your own? Oh. Outstanding. Love it. 12 out of 10. Would computer again. Until it kills me. Computers were absolutely a mistake. Yes, ma'am. All right, yeah, it's coming. Do you, Perry? Do you, Perry? Is it is it literally just adding the the? Is it literally just that? Do you want me to just put this in while I'm here? Okay, I can I can just do this while I'm here. I'll just I'll just do it. It's not a big deal. You know, so you don't have to worry about PRs and all this stuff. Reverse. Reverse. You want me to do Perry, you want me to put this in? You want me to put it in like this, but <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh, no dennis i'm gonna continue <clears throat> mac and linux shouldn't be using the file version mac and linux should be using the the uh the url version the direct link slash two pc setup this is the one that Mac and Linux should be using. Technically, fucking everybody should probably be using this, but here we are. You need a filter overlay path so it doesn't have a a leading slash.
The file one works fine on Mac and Linux? No, it doesn't, never works. All right, fine, I will do this fine. Uh, what if I, what if I regex it? What if I just fucking regex it? And what's the, what's the fucking... the fucking thing for um god damn it it's the thing to come on like directly off the string is it just dot match it is just dot match okay what version did we get that oh we've well, had that for a while no that's the boolean right and Oh, no, that's that. What's the... Oh, maybe that works. Okay, let's try something. Let's go... Path. No, not I don't want to do map. I want to do I want to do star to the to do do do. Ah. Uh. How do I fucking regex? Any character? Oh yeah, it's I. I forgot my period. That's what I forgot. Okay. Oh. Can I do, give me a, uh, yeah, I want, I want the group. Um, yeah, I want the group. Give me the group. Let's match all. Hmm. Oh, that, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Do it with regex, he said. It'll be fun, he said. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's fine. I mean, that works. I mean, it's always going to match, so... There we go. Okay. So I tell you what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here. And we're going to go like... Take this. Nope. And take... Go... Match. Are we on... Are we on match all? We are on match all. Match all. I'm going to go like this, because I want to see what this does. Path.replace. I don't know if I want, I mean, do we have access to path in here? I guess we could do it. I guess I could do a, I guess I could just, yeah, all right, all right. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, 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 I, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I mean, okay, we could do that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We could do that. No, you're fine, Dennis. You're fine. All right. All right, let's go and uh, I've got I got two. We're good. Yeah, I know. Vs. I I I like that. But we're good. So we're yeah. That'll just replace that, and then we got that. Beautiful. All right, I'm happy with this. All right, let's let's give it a quick test just to make sure. Her loaf wandered off too. She's off doing loaf stuff like being cozy cat. Hey, did you know that I'm trying to connect to Firebot there and down here? All right. All right.
Yeah, I'm using. Yeah, why? Okay, there we go. All right, that works. I mean, that that looks fine to me. It was because people panic when they're overlaid it and work and they start to... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I am using file colon slash 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 slash. But yeah, I'm, I am using, I'm using this in OBS because I'm on Windows. No matter what, it would be easier to ex export import profiles. Oh, that's, that's, okay, gotcha. Okay. Um, all right, that's there. Um, Perry, you happy? Dennis, you happy? We good with this? Okay, cool. Dennis, you're good. Perry's good. All right. Well, you're all... Did we have a thing for that? And did we have an issue for that? And I don't know that we did. There's a current issue in Discord. Okay, cool. All right, then. Hit, uh, push. All right, cool. All right, that's in. All right, Dennis. Um. All right, let's see what we have. I always forget string replace can use regex in uh, JavaScript. All right. Let's go back. No. Me. Yeah, that was a quick one. That was a that was an easy peasy one. Um Make viewer arrived event. All right. First, let's edit this and add Make badge and emote URL URL variables URL variables usable with your arrived event. Okay, YouTube issue. 
It's good to close. It was fixed earlier. Sweet. Love that. Uh, this one, Perry? Is this the one you were talking about? Cool. Okay. Uh, then... Close as completed. Okay, we're gonna close as completed. That's good. I'll pull myself off of this. Okay. Does not work within an event. Determine with the viewer arrived event after showing the show image slash gif effect. I couldn't add the variable. Exactly like a user avatar URL. Oh, Kali Dokali. So here's this is a can of worms. Um, <clears throat> so let's go over this a little bit. <clears throat> um, oh, okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. And you're good on. Oh, love that for us, Dennis. So here's the thing. User avatar URL. All right, so this is this is a good request. I, I understand why you would want something like this for something like a chat message that comes in. Um, so user avatar URL, we can get directly from the Twitch API. We can just say, all right, give me, you know, give me the user, and the user has a property called profile picture URL, which we can just use, right? <clears throat> I don't know that we can get badges for just individual users via the API. So let's go and see. Nope. Uh, we have channel, get the broadcasters. Yeah, this is custom badges. That's getting badges for the channel or for globals but not individual users. So that's something that we have to parse on the chat message when it comes in. Okay. So we cannot get, we cannot get a individual users chat badges from the API. It has to be on from a chat message. So let's see what, let's go to, uh, let's go to user badge URLs. All right. All right. This we have the trigger metadata chat message. So we have a chat message event that comes in. Okay. Um, and they want to be able to use this on viewer arrived as well. Okay. Show the watching, but not listening, or not watching, but listening badges. Uh, n I no, no, we don't like the the thing where you can set whether like you have no audio or no video. Um, well, now, nah, nah, well, I don't know. It very well may. Um, it may because I think we just put the stuff that's in here. We just put like the current ones that they have. I don't know. And it's just, yeah. I mean, CKY, if you want to test it, if you want to throw one in and see if it works, we can see. That's all. Yeah, so that's not... Uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. No audio. So we, we do show that. Perry, you, it, yours may be overridden because you have custom badges set in the channel. So if you have custom badges, if you have like custom badges in a channel set up, it will show, we show in Firebot exactly what you have set on the channel. So it may very well, just because you have the, um, 
you have the hype train conductor badge currently showing. So if you take that off and then set it back to like the no, the no video, then it will, it will do it. Cause we show again, we show exactly what we have in Twitch. You have no idea you lost your badge. Yeah. See, there you go, Perry. There you go. So now it shows, now your shows up with the no video badge because it's working there. So you had global set, right? Wait, what just? Wait, we got. Oh, it didn't trigger. Esper needs it but... for everyday hustling. Holy shit, CKY, buddy, thank you for the sub. Uh, we just hit our goal for me to do a brick building stream. <laughs> Uh, which means one night here soon, I'm going to do, so I've got the overhead camera. Uh, where's the overhead camera? So I got the overhead camera here. Um, and I'm going to do a brick building stream here on the desk. So you can watch me put together a Lego set. So that should be fun, fun times. Uh, that'll be cool. <clears throat> yeah. That's what rolled over chat view was us hitting the, uh, the goal, which is what I have in the thing here. So uh, thank y'all. Thank y'all so very much. Um, this is gonna be, I'm, I'm really looking for this. Like I've been really wanting to uh, do the brick building stream. This is gonna be, be good. There you go. So yeah, okay, so those show up. Yeah, those are fine. We got those. Um, okay. Now let's come back to this. <clears throat> All right, viewer arrived. So we trigger this. I'm going to mark this as any right now because I don't remember what exactly we get here. Is it a Firebot chat message? Oh, uh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. The... Let me go look. Why did my... That was weird. What is all this stuff I have going on? Okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, sweet girl. Okay, so badge URLs. So it is a Firebot chat message that we trigger, which is fine. That's fine. User avatar URL username is for chat message only. Uh, avatar URL is not is it limited to Where'd the loaf go? Oh, there's the loaf. She's been a toolbox kitty. She's under the desk. Giving a snuggle. Did you want to give a snuggle kitten cat? Uh, 
Uh, avatar URL doesn't have contact. It doesn't have. It doesn't have triggers, so this is available everywhere. Avatar URL you can do. Now username is for. It's not just for chat message. Username is wherever there's a username context. But like if I go in here and go and do like a log message, let's delete that one. And I go user avatar URL username and do like this. It executes in the context of me. And that's that's my URL, that's my avatar. So avatar URLs can work anywhere because we just, we query the API. Badges, on the other hand, badges are gonna be a little trickier. So we need, oh, um, Twitch viewer arrived. So that is, that is a Firebot chat message that we use. So, okay. All right, we're gonna. We're gonna clean this up a little bit and. And this makes me want to play Earthbound again. Okay. Do the same thing down here. Okay. Yeah. Display name, username, user ID, message text, chat message. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so we want make badge and emote URLs work. Uh, okay. So... What emote? Where, do we have emote URLs? Chat. Oh, it's. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I remember this now. Yep, you're absolutely right. Um, okay, perfect. Well, then that's fine. Okay. You arrived. Uh, that's the, okay. Uh, all right. Well, then we've, ah, <clears throat> chat message, chat message. Um,
Okay, so we have the chat message. We're sending in the Firebot chat message. There we go, okay. How do we send this back? We send this back as an array? We do, okay. Empty string. Just the URLs. Turn an empty string. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I'm happy with that. Okay. Yep. 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 And yep. Seems simple enough to me. Okay. Well, then let's... Let's restart it. Eventually, I'm going to strongly type these uh, these events. Make sure we don't miss anything, and we can consume them elsewhere. Okay. Fucking hello. Fucking hello to you, buddy. Okay. I find that kernel error box. Nope, not gonna do it. I don't. No, no. I don't. I don't do kernels. I'm not that smart. All right. Uh. You are arrived. Log message. Wow, Viv, how dare you? How absolutely fucking dare you. Right, long. Future being in Europe, UK region, we get right of withdrawal letters when you sub, gift sub. Reference number. Oh my god, Perry, the amount of stuff that under the hood, this is just Justin TV, is astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. All right, let's see. Just in TV brand, but then before they rolled it back. <clears throat> yeah, artistic nudity and then 
everybody tried to put hentai on Twitch. It's like, that's not how that works. That's not how that works. You're going to tag a dev. Don't go tag a dev. Don't do it. Don't do it, CKY. It's a trap. All right. I got the events in. Let's go. I'm back in the good old days. Were they that good, though? God damn it, Viv. Windows 7 running Firebot? Yeah, we don't support Windows 7. Listen, Perry, if they can get that bag, fucking let them. I don't give a fuck. All right, let's see how we do. All right, we'll see what happens. No emotes, no animated emotes, but I did get badges. What's this one? Yeah, that's the train. Well, Badges work. Uh, hey, somebody put uh, somebody put an animated emote in the chat. Viv, Viv, do Viv, do concern, do vibe concern, or concern vibe. Still running on Win Thirty Two. Open. That's a concern. Open. That's a concern vibe. Okay. All right. It works. CKY, it works. Oh, Perry, it does. You're con you, should, you should be concerned, pal. I love that Reject shows up and he literally has no emotes, no animated emotes or badges. Like this, working as, working as intended. Reject. Tell CKY to stop doing Windows 7 stuff. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Perry, thank you for gifting a sub to Reject. Let's give him a badge. It'll show up next time it uh next time I restart the bot. Which one is this? This is twenty two forty seven. supports those is that is that a var feature is that a var feature is that an event feature i'm gonna call it vars i don't even care humiliation apparently so. damn damn <clears throat> viv stop that i like my windows 11 all right i'm calling this a var feature all right, commit and push. Okay. You do it, you did it. Okay, refresh. Uh, okay. That's done. XP was king, hated seven and eight. I'm I always move forward. I don't know. I like win eleven when you were using it, but that rate yeah, well, yeah, I know Viv. I know buddy.
All right, that one's done. What are we down to? We're down to four. I thought there were six. Maybe it was the bug. I don't know. A label put before the name in chat for new user slash user coming from raid. Hmm. Hated seven, but you never went to eight. Stuck on 10 until you update your more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Reject, does your board not have a TPM chip on it? Is that what it is? Like, lack of TPM? Okay. All right, yeah. That's fair. Damn it, CKY. No, hold on a second. I'm going to do this right now. We're going to we're going to determine this because I like as much as I don't want to lock people out of stuff, Windows 7, we cannot support that. Okay, so yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no, I I see it. I'm looking at it and I'm looking at it and I, we, we can't, we can't do it, Perry. We're past the point of no return. We're already on, we're already on future stuff. And like, I don't want to be a pain in the ass, but we can't support like when Microsoft doesn't support windows seven or eight or 8.1, we can't keep supporting that. I, I don't want to be like a hard ass about it, but like we can give them, we can help people like by giving them the, the thing in their settings file, their global settings to disable auto updates. That's the best I can do. I like reject you like what are your thoughts when their mothers will start using that 
You fire about to run on my DOS too. Yeah. A hard ass about we aren't supporting Windows 7. All right. Unfortunately, the version of Electron, the desktop app framework we use that Firebot now uses, no longer supports Windows 7, 8, 8.1. For security and feature reasons, we've had to update Electron, which means that Firebot is not supported on Windows 7, 8, 8.1. I'll say no longer supported. Yeah. Like, sorry, I don't... I don't... I don't... I want everybody, as many people as possible, to use our stuff, but we can't support that far back. That's, like, Windows 7 was released, like, literally, what, tw I don't know, 12 years ago? No, longer than that. Fourteen. Fourteen years ago. 2009. We, we can't support a 14-year-old OS that the OS manufacturer no longer supports. Can't do it. Can't do it. Like, it's... Electron hasn't had support for it in coming up on a year. And we... We need to be on as high a version of Electron as we can for, you know, for security reasons, first and foremost. I just, yeah, I hate it. What's this? Ooh. Look at you with your code coverage report, all 100%. I love that for you, bud. Truly do. All right, let's see if we can do... Ah, meant to copy. More tests than actual code. I was down to about tests for thousands of lines. I believe it. But for something like that, you want to have like really good test coverage, right? Like. Um, so. CKY, can you can you walk the user through setting auto update level to zero? Yes, there you go, Perry. Can you set? Can you walk the user through that? And if you could, I would greatly appreciate that. And I don't know what their comfort level is with editing a JSON file. Um, so you know, have them back up first. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. All right, let's go. This I'm not going to be able to work on. I'm I'm just the Q system is that's probably going to be a V6 thing. I will put before the name in chat for new user slash user coming from raid. So let's go look at fire. Let's go look at the way that Firebot chat message is set up. Chat. Chat message. We've got badges. We've got his announcement.
Alright, so if I do an announcement... Does that not work? Oh, it's, it's announce. I typed announcement. Okay, so we have this, which is great. Um, so I have that. So then what I would need to do is I would need to piggyback off of this. to do this. Who did this? Oh, Biggs did this. Biggs did the UI for this. Bless him and his UIs. Okay, so let's go look and see what we... Let's go... We can go find where we trigger chat message in the chat. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> when we do on message, let's see what we what we get from on message. We get the chat message. His cheers redemption is first. Whether the message is the first message of the chatter who sent it. Okay. Is returning chatter. Okay. So we have some... We have some fun stuff in here that we can work on. Um, let's work on this for just a few. I'm, I want to see how far I can get with this. Uh, let's go back here. Um, I want... Let's go to my types and get my chat. And, um... Alright, let's add some stuff down here. Is first time... How do we have this set up? Uh, is first. Oh, I'm going to call this his first time chatter. I like that. Is returning chatter. Boolean. Some nice information to make events from. Yeah, 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 yeah. It sure is. The mood and booting up your dev environment. Ah, see, is highlight. We have is we're already using is highlight, aren't we? I think we are. No, oh, I've. We're n wait, no. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're already using that. Um, that's the reply stuff. Is hype chat. I don't want to get into the hype chat stuff yet. So we have... What fields do we have here? Target and text, no, okay. Hype chat is... I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, pin cheers. That's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's right. All right, so the best we can do is is first and is returning chatter. Um...
because hype chat doesn't work anymore. Highlight message, how do you actually use that in Firebot? Um, you want me to show you? All right, so here's what happens. When we get a message and it's a highlight, we get a, a thing for it. So where is build Firebot chat message? So in here, we get a message ID. If it is a highlighted message, it will have a message ID of highlighted message. 